I just happen to have Shooter in the Daily Hiva, and I'll use that to get into the Ashi. Now, from the Ashi, if we have Ashi, we always have X. And now, Shooter, can you back up and we'll turn this way to the camera? Now, if I have the X here, what I'm going to do is if I want to get him down, I can use this foot, a sticky hook, just to bring him closer, and that allows me to grab his foot. And then I can put this knee over his knee, and he's going to go down. And then I'm in a great position either to go to the ashi here, or I've got this scoop grip, and I can go around the maypole here and get into cross ashi. The other way we can do this same idea is if I've got shooter, let's just say I'm in De La Hiva, and I go into Ashigarami, and then I go to the X. So I've got the X. So I have the X. What I'm going to do is, if I switch so that my knees are high, and I grab his hand, instead of just with one knee, I can do with two knees. But we found that you've got to keep your shins high and grab his ankle. And now it's the same idea where I can bring him down and go to straight Ashi, or I could keep this hook and go around to cross Ashi. You can see that Shooter's got me in the cross Ashi, aka Honey Hole, and he wants to go to work, of course, to get an inside heel hook, but my reaction is to turn away from him. And so his reaction, as I turn and plant, he plants and then watch this knee. He forces us back with both his hand and his knee. One more time. If I come here, he's going to pop us back and he's rotating this way. His force is not in me, but it's a rotational force. So if I come here and I'm a big strong guy and I get halfway, and it's clear that he can't, he tries to rotate me back, but I'm not going to let him. We can keep on rotating through. Notice. This is important to quickly get control of this. If I roll this way, he comes with me, and we're, we keep on following up our feet under here. But the idea is, if you keep this tight, and you're willing to roll with the guy, then when we roll here, he's in the honey hole. If we roll this way, he's still in the honey hole. And that's the big idea. And we think that having a good grip here is so important, and also, to be conscious of grabbing that knee as soon as you can. So I've got shooter, I've got inside position, of course, I'm gonna try to inside position. I go into my ashi, and I've got a nice spot here. Of course, we often work on the heel hook here. But what I'm gonna do now is, I'm going to just slightly rotate so I expose his foot here. My elbow goes to his toe line, and I close down, so he's not going anywhere. What I'm gonna come over and do is grab his Achilles. I can either grab his Achilles with my hand or come in wrist deep. And what I wanna do, as you can see, is I'm just lifting his heel off the ground. And now I can either do this or I can hug or I can even go even closer. But for now, I've got this heel exposed and I have control of this. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna reap over, but we're not gonna do that now. The whole point is, once I'm in the ashi, I wanna expose his heel. I have to sort of just turn my knees nice and tight, vertically, to get his heel at least flat. Now I'm gonna come over, I put my elbow at the toe line, and close this down. I just lift this up, and now I can secure him. Notice that last little thing I did. I don't want to line up my forearm with his shank here because he can slip his foot out. What I want to do is, once I'm here and I expose him, I want to tuck my elbow into my own body and now my forearm is lined up with his foot and we've got a nice tight heel hook here. All right, so Jeremy's got me in the cross ashi and he's ready now to attack my heel. Notice what he does. He lines up his elbow with my toe line. For instructional purposes only, I'm, I've got this leg out. He lines up his, his elbow with my toe line, then he brings it down. He's got his head over the foot. He's gonna lift my heel up 
Now, if he just keeps it like this, what I can do is I can point my toe and escape. So when he does it for real, he lifts that up, he tucks his chicken wing in and already, even before he's put any pressure on, I'm feeling like I've got to tap because there's so much pressure here. Notice again, his, his right forearm is lined up with my foot, not with my um, tibia fibula. So Shooter's got me in a classic straight Ashi and he wants to try to start to heel hook. But if I start grabbing here and hiding my foot, hiding my foot, it's a real pain in the neck. He's not gonna be able to, um, it, it could be a while before he exposes the heel. So what he'll do is he'll go two on one and he'll shift his hips and sort of naturally as he crosses the center line with his foot, the heel exposure doesn't last long, so get it while you can. And he's got it. One more time. This, from the, from the Ashi, my heel is not exposed. So instead of fighting, fighting, fighting me, he's going to shift into me and bring his leg across the center line. And just for a moment, my heel is exposed and he takes advantage of it. And I feel like if he does this, I'm, I'm going to tap even there without even the, without the sheer spiral. I've got Jeremy in a nice honey hole here, or a, I've got him in a nice cross ashi, and he starts to get away from me, and he starts to hide that, hide that heel. I might catch him here with my right foot, but what I'm gonna wind up doing is, I'm gonna go wrist deep on his knee. I'm gonna line up, I'm, I'm, I'm in position. I know the heel exposure is only gonna be brief, so I'm gonna line up my elbow on his toe line. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring this foot here closer to me. It's my left foot that's hooking his other foot, his, his other knee, and I pull him back this way, and I get that heel exposure, and as we come back this way, I lock up my sinkaku again, and I'm in a nice, tight position to give him a heel hook. One more time, I'm in the cross ashi, and I'm going for the heel hook, but he hides his foot. So I'm going to keep him from leaving. I'm gonna put my elbow tight. I'm going to uh, go wrist deep on his knee. And I'm gonna bring this foot in to drive him over, expose the heel. Now when we come back, I'm in a nice position to break him. A, a tremendous break, an extraordinary amount of pressure on his knee.